Well, hey everyone, it's Kevin here. Welcome to Mobile DJ Remastered. Now, today what I wanna do for you guys is do a wedding walkthrough. So it's kinda of like a gig log, but we're gonna walk through all the steps that I take to get ready and execute a wedding. So today we have Ashley and Zach getting married and they're getting married at a venue called Canopy Creek. I've not been to the venue before, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, it looks like a really neat place. It's a barn venue. Uh, so right now it is about quarter till eight in the morning. And what I'm doing is, of course I got up, I'm all showered and ready, and I'm kinda in my, uh, my load-in clothes. So just, you know, it's a little chilly here in Ohio still. So I'm in jeans, but I uh, got my, uh, you know, logo polo on here, so I'm ready to go. And I also, last night, I loaded up my car. So um, I've got everything in here in the car. You can kind of see I've got my, here's my dress clothes I packed up this morning. I've got speakers, I've got all my other stuff. It's pretty dark in here, but uh, hopefully you guys can see in there. I'm all loaded up. So essentially what I'm doing here, I'm up so early and loaded is because we have a 9 a.m. rehearsal. So it's part of my wedding package. I like, I actually love to go to the rehearsal if I can, uh, because I wanna meet everybody. I kinda wanna walk through everything and make sure that the timing's good. So um, I love doing wedding rehearsals. And the only way that the couple could do this, uh, you, you know, do, work it out with the venue was to do an early morning before the wedding rehearsal. So we're doing a 9 a.m. rehearsal. And then we're gonna go and I'm gonna set up I'm gonna have a little break in the middle of the day, and then I'm going back for the rest of the wedding. If you're new here, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, so we're on the way to Canopy Creek, and um, Canopy Creek Farms, it looks like a nice uh, venue. I've not been there before, as I mentioned. It'll be neat to see and celebrate with Ashley and Zach tonight. So, I haven't done one of these rehearsals in the morning before the wedding uh, before. So typically the rehearsal is, you know, like the night before or two nights before, or even right before the wedding. You know, sometimes there's like, uh, you, you know, a, a couple hours before the, the wedding, uh, before guests arrive, before everybody's kind of ready to go um, to do the, uh, you know, for prime time. But, Tonight, a little different, a little different today. Uh, this is cool though. It's kind of, it's uh, gonna be a nice and early one. And then I've got this lull in the middle of the day. So that'd be cool. I can hang out with my family and go to lunch with them and hang out and then come back and be ready to rock the wedding. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting. It's just about a half hour drive up to this, uh, this venue. So it should just be a quick, quick drive here this morning. I got my breakfast of champions, a little protein shake right here, and a little caffeine, a little cold caffeine in the morning to help me wake up here. And uh, yeah, I'll be all set to go. All right, so I'm here at the venue, and um, it looks like I'm the first one here. It's about a half hour till rehearsal time at 9 a.m. Um, so I've got my paperwork here. Usually what I bring to rehearsal is paperwork, a pen, so I can make any notes. Um, I bring my laptop, okay, and also a uh, a little portable speaker, so Bluetooth speaker, so Beats Pill in this case. And what I do is I play song the songs, you know, like the recessional, uh, the processional beforehand, and I play uh, those pieces of music to see uh, almost like time it out to make sure that the timing is going to work for for whenever you know the bridal party is going to walk up to the altar or how the bride's going to walk up to the altar it also just gives people a sense of you know how things are going to go with the time but anyway let's look at this first as you can see in my wedding paperwork i usually have a section at the top where i just list uh you know special facts and vips and other information um and as you kind of go down you'll see rehearsal at nine i've got that whole um you know the prelude guests arriving at about 4 30 so that'll be cool people will be coming in we'll have a little bit of welcome music um and then at five we've got our ceremony and you can kind of see the uh, we're gonna bring in the wedding party uh, with 
mothers. Uh, the, the mothers are gonna be part of that. Um, sometimes parents are included, sometimes grandparents, sometimes not. I'd say most times not uh, these days, but um, we've got mothers in, in the procession this time uh, to, uh, to a song. Uh, actually, and these songs are all vocals. Usually, um, <clears throat> I'd say typically, I'm doing instrumentals during the ceremony, but um, this couple just wanted, you know, like the actual songs with vocals. So we're gonna do some train uh, for the wedding party processional. We're gonna do a bridal processional uh, of course, with a thousand years, as you can see here, this was a, a little bit of a, a of a um, uh, cut I had to do myself, a little mix I had to do myself, where uh, the bride loved the beginning part of the song of the duet with uh, Christina Perry and Kazi, but um, she she liked the beginning part. She didn't like where Christina Perry is singing, but she likes when the duet comes in. So what I did was I just kind of like took the first part and skipped over, um, you know, took out the part where Christina's singing uh, in the first verse, I guess, and then brought in the chorus. It sounds pretty good. I, uh, I used Audacity and blended them pretty well. So it sounds really great. And I had sent it to her beforehand. So she's like, oh yeah, I love it. So let's, do, let's go with it. Um, so kind of got her uh, her ears on it to make sure it was good. Then we've got recessional, as you can see, um, 5.30 cocktail hour starts and hors d'oeuvres and things. So got that cocktail hour uh, playlist going on, got the announcements, a little bit about the uh, appetizers being available, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they weren't sure if they're gonna have a guest book, so I kind of little made, made a little note here just in case. Then we've got wedding party intros at 6.30. Looks like uh, pretty standard. We've got, you know, party rock anthem. Pretty standard format here with um, the uh, the wedding party coming in. And then uh, we're gonna have their first dance. The couple's first dance will go right into first dance. Um, then on page two, let's see, we've got, um, and, and I, I try to get everything on one page. So I got everything on one, <laughs> one one page for me, and then I bring extra copies for, um, you know, the uh, the photographer, the venue people, and actually I uh, I strip out some like extraneous detail that they don't care about or they don't need. So it's really just the the bare bones that I print for them. Uh, so in any case, six forty looks like we're going to start dinner. Uh, I'll be doing the captain's call. We've got a buffet tonight. Um, Seven fifteen toasts. Moving through, we've got spotlight dances, okay, for uh, like father, daughter, mother, son. I'm sorry, father, daughter, mother, daughter, okay, and then mother, son. And then we've got our cake cutting. Looks like 750 is when I finally get to get them on the dance floor. And uh, they wanna start off with a wedding party slow dance and then drop something that's gonna get the heart pumping and, and uh, people moving. So that's a pretty good way to start. I, I always like to start with a bigger, higher energy kind of thing, but, um, the bride had been to a wedding where she saw the uh, wedding party kind of do a slow dance first to kick off the dancing to the open dancing part of the night. So I like that idea and uh, we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. We've got um, a nine o'clock bouquet and garter toss and then we go to midnight with dancing. So it's going to be a fun night. It's going to be a long day, obviously, uh, starting this early with the rehearsal in the morning and then going. Uh, I'd be up anyway, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's nice that I have that lull in the middle of the day so I can hang out with my fam and uh, make sure I'm all set up and ready to go before I, I do that. So any case, uh, I'll just sit here and prepare a little more. Here's the venue behind me. So it's uh, looking nice, looking nice. It's a it's a really nice little uh, farm area out here in Miamisburg, Ohio. So it uh, should be cool. I can't wait to do this uh, for Ashley and Zach tonight. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit after I get done with the rehearsal. Yeah, the grounds here at this venue are great. Look at this real farm, a little pond, little legit horses. I like this patio. You can do a lot out here. It's warm out. All right, here it is, y'all. Blank canvas, looking nice. This will be all decorated a little bit later, I assume, by the bridal party. 
This is the bar area and that's my home right there under the stairs. All right, so I just finished the rehearsal. Um, it's about 10 o'clock now. It was a kind of a long rehearsal, um, mostly because most of the folks were kind of late getting here. But anyway, um, it's all good. We've got uh, some unpacking to do and some load in. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up and get this thing going. So yeah, I got the rock and roller cart and just kind of pulling everything out. And uh, everything usually fits on one run, but these things are awesome. I love the ones too with the big fat tires up front so you can kind of go over terrain and ramps and all kinds of stuff like bricks, walkways and things like that. So no problem with the fatter tires. All right, got everything on there and I just need to wheel it in. All right, so uh, all set up, ready to go. Um, I, uh, I'll put in a picture here of what the setup looks like. Um, of course, there's a a uh, little ceremony piece of equipment right in front of one of my speakers. And that's just for um, miking with uh, lavaliers. I'm making the efficient and of course the groom so that they can hear, uh, they can be heard. And of course the bride can be heard. So in any case, I'm all set up. I'm gonna go get some lunch with my family. This is great to have a little bit of downtime in between uh, set up and uh, our big event. So in any case, I'm gonna do that and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, before we begin, what I wanted to do is show you inside of my record box and how I've set up things for tonight. And first, you can see in my record box, I have an events folder where I store folders for each upcoming event inside of those folders. So here's tonight's wedding. Inside of these folders, I have playlists for each section or each part of the wedding. So, I also make a little note to myself just how long I need to have music to cover for in the schedule. And usually I overshoot by a little bit, sometimes by as much as half, just so I have extra tunes in the in the playlist that I can draw from. I can always go out to my crates or my, my collection and often do especially in dancing, but... Uh, I, I like to set myself up for success and plan out a little bit, especially to make sure that all my couples, big, you know, selections or must plays are at the top of these playlists so I can pull them out. Any case, let me just show you through, let me show you these guys. So during Prelude, I've got these songs and um, the, interestingly for this couple, they wanted, as I mentioned, they wanted actual songs with lyrics they didn't want instrumental so we've got several songs here um and these are all kind of chill or toe tapper type songs uh, in terms of energy level so uh wanted to just set a good vibe as people were coming in and they like more of the <clears throat> pardon me a little bit of the country a little bit, bit of the pop so you can kind of see some of those tunes okay ceremony this is basically my the the main key ceremony songs and basically train is going to be our wedding party processional with the mothers, etc. We're going to have the bridal processional a thousand years and then our recessional is forever after all. Now, I mentioned the thousand year song that I had to update a little bit with um, with audacity. And you can kind of see I'll go ahead and load this up. You can kind of see this here, this section um, where it kind of ramps up. This is exactly where I. Uh, blended it. I blended basically the intro and then the second chorus where we have the, the two, you know, Steve and Christina come in as a duet. So this sounded really good. I blended it pretty well in Audacity. Here's just like a second of how this sounds. I mean, you wouldn't know that that wasn't, that was a cut, you know, um, anyway. I'm proud of myself for that. Um, sounds really good. And the bride was super happy too. Okay. So then we have, of course, Forever After All as the recessional cocktail hour. Um, I've just got um, a lot of, they wanted uh, sort of contemporary music. They wanted a lot of country. Um, so I've got a lot of that mixed in here. And I might have a couple surprises that I'll pull out. I usually like to test out my audience during cocktail hour and see what's going to work later in the evening. So, you know, I might drop a little bit of uh, see if something like 
no diggity or something that's going to have some some bounce to it and but it's it's still okay for a cocktail but i can kind of uh, you know, get a sense of how my crew, how my crew is going to be later in the night. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Here's what my plan is for cocktail hour. You can kind of see some of the songs we're talking about. And then, um, and then I have a specials folder. Okay. My specials folder are, it's all the special moment songs. So, uh, you know, aside from ceremony. So when I think about like party rock anthem is our intro. So I've got that in here. I've got the parent dances in the first dance. I've got, the songs for later on when we do bouquet and garter and then our final dance of the night song so i just kind of keep these all in one special folder so i i can grab them it's just my little trick um that i do now dinner um i just needed 45 minutes of music so here i've got a little mix of some country again to try to keep the vibe going in from cocktail hour i've also got some pop but also uh, the bride is a big fan of show tunes, Harry Potter, and some other things. So I thought I'd mix in a couple little themes in here. Um, and uh, you know, it's always good to give it a once over, uh, even though I'm I'm playing these songs. But I notice sometimes that you know I'll drop in like I do not want Cupid Shuffle during dinner, um, even though the bride and groom do want line dances. So obviously that was just a mistake that I dropped it in there. Um, Okay, and you know, I can even remember, I think, when I did that <laughs> as a mistake. Anyway, this is kind of like what the dinner's going to look like. And then I've got dance, which I, I try to keep, whenever I do my dance set, uh, my dance playlist, I usually try to put songs that the couple specifically asked for near the top. So it kind of lets me remember to go back here and, you know, as I'm, as I'm seeking, what's the next song to play? What should I drop, you know, after cake or after bouquet and garter to keep the party going? I always try to make sure I'm incorporating the bride and groom songs at special moments or when, you know, they're in the room um, and then, you know, make sure that they know that we're playing their must plays. Um, so you can kind of see there's, there's that. And then I just took lead, the lead off of the genres they told me they like. They like classic rock, old school dance songs. They love um, 2000s hip hop. So you can kind of see some of the stuff that's in here. Um, sometimes I put in multiple versions like they, uh, this song by Pitbull is, it's such a good jam, but it also, I've got a couple BPM transition versions, which are great that, you know, they can kind of bridge me between a couple different, uh, you know, BPM transitions. I can go from 100 to 114 or 128 down to 114. And those are great just, uh, you know, if you're trying to beat match the, the dance set and you want to change, uh, you know, the tempo. Anyway, that's my dance set. I'm usually, <clears throat> I would say, guys, I play about 75% of what I put in here. And then I'm I'm in and out of my crates during dance because I just, I like to understand what the, what the group is feeling. And, uh, of course, I'm constantly, I'm sure you guys are, are doing this too, you're, you're, um, trying to incorporate like requests or you, you know you're you're reading the crowd and you're like I, I need to keep with this vibe and i need to keep you know this this kind of era going or something if it's really working so i i definitely am this is a very dynamic the most dynamic part of my whole planning process is right here i try to set myself up so that if you know i've got enough music here for sure two and a half hours plus you know i think what did i put in here uh yeah three and a half hours i've got three and a half hours of music so i'm, I'm good to go but i'm always into my crates and looking in my collection trying to real time uh do a little bit uh, you know tailor the, the experience to what's in front of me okay and then of course a couple slow dance songs we didn't want to a couple didn't want too much of a slow dance uh you know, too many slow dance songs, but got a couple here that they really love. So I'll pull those out and maybe a couple others, but that is it guys for the record box setup for tonight. Look at what they're willing to sacrifice for you. 
All right, everybody, this is Kevin from the future. <laughs> um, so the event is finished. I'm actually a few days past the event and it went really well, but uh, I didn't film any additional wedding walkthrough content where I'm talking to you guys directly. So what I wanted to do is for the rest of this, I wanna show you my highlight video that I always make. I always make a highlight reel or video for the couple after the wedding. I just put together some you know, shots and some little clips from the day and the evening. I put it together, I put it on YouTube and I send it to the couple along with a request for a review. So I'm just gonna walk you through this video so you guys can see how the rest of this thing went. And here I'm uh, gonna go ahead and push play and we're gonna watch this thing together. Okay, so first I just always title it with you know, the couple's name and say where we are, um, usually through pictures like I'm doing here with signs of the building. Um, and then of course, you know, this is just like B-roll kind of stuff I, I usually do. After I get set up, I will go around with my phone and just film these little scenes, little vignettes and, uh, you know, shots of the venue before and after thing, you know, things are decorated. Um, and I've got a, you, you probably can't hear it, I put the volume really low, but I'm just playing like a royalty-free uh, little song that, I, that you know you find in iMovie from Apple, something like that. But you can see I'm just showing little shots of the cake, the table, my setup, there's my, my setup, what it looks like. Um, and then here comes some shots of ceremony. So this is like, that's the maid of honor, best man walking through. Here comes the bride and her dad. There's Ashley coming through. Um, it was a beautiful ceremony and everything worked great. We had a little bit of trouble with that runner that you see there. Um, it was bunching up a little bit and everything, but that photographer right there was so great. We had a great time with the photographer. That was Don uh, from Daniel Michael Photography and just a great, great team, great vendor team tonight. Um, so that was great. So they just got married. This is like, they're doing pictures afterward and I'm, I've got cocktail going on in, inside the barn, but I just came out and did a little shot of them. Uh, I don't film intros cause it's just such high energy, but I do get a little bit of the first dance here. Um, you can see there's smoke in front of the couple. That's the buffet table. They actually put right in front of me. So, you know, it's all good. Um, and then of course they flipped it later and moved it out for the dance floor. Here's just a shot quickly of what kind of cocktail or uh, dinner look like here's their cake cutting uh they both uh smash they didn't smash but they both put a little on each other's faces which is nice and they were such a sweet couple too just all the way through very nice very cool to work with very chill i just love i loved working with them and helping them celebrate um we you know we had parent dances so there's uh ashley and her dad uh her family from colorado um now that's her mom. She did a mother daughter dance, which kind of different, uh, but I love that she insisted. She, she's like, I want to do that because I definitely want to dance with my mom. So, and this is the groom and his mom. And uh, she definitely was very emotional, which is very cute. And, uh, and they ended up actually the, uh, the bride came up and joined. So Ashley came up and joined Zach with, with the mom there. You can see, which is very touching moment there for the, for the dances. Um, and of course, all the while, you know, I'm, I'm behind my console here and I just pull out my cell phone and get my little shots. Here's the before open dancing. We wanted to do that, uh, little, uh, you know, bridal party slow dance. Here's where, uh, opening the opening, uh, dancing, open dancing started. Sorry. A little Macarena. And, um, essentially if you look around the room, you see, I have up lights right now. And these are the ape labs up lights and you can see. Um, the blinking uh, or the uh, wash lights that I'm using are the Chave wash effects. Those are my dance lights. Um, the couple did say, hey, give me a lot. We love the line dancing. So we did that. Um, and we had a couple couple requests, not too many, not too many requests at this wedding. I think I uh, people were happy with what they were hearing and, uh, and I was in the zone, but they were just seemed to be happy to be dancing. Um, so here we go a little little bit uh they were getting the wobble started uh trying to get the, the the moves down for the wobble 
that little kid right there was so cool. Um, one of the ring bearers there with the blinking light. Uh, you might see some little rings. Oh, here's the, the garter removal and toss. Um, you might see some little blinking lights, uh, little rings. I bring these little LED ring lights just to give to the kiddos if they're, you know, running around. And I, I, I don't know, it seems like it's a nice little gift. We did a couple slow dances, a little break um, where folks could slow it down and chill. And then we got really hype. And um, for those that, uh, you know, really wanted to dance, um, and you can tell I, I turned the uh, up lights into sound active mode so you can see behind there, um, they're kind of bouncing with the music now, uh, which is such a cool thing about the Ape Labs that you can just hit a button and do that. There's the brides and a couple of bridesmaids. Those are her sisters actually. Um, <laughs> just, I, lo I love these little, you know, little clips of special moments, you know, and uh, even if you get a videographer, this little thing that I do, and you, you guys can cer certainly do this too in your weddings. It's just a nice little gift to give the, the bride and groom, and, or the couple rather. Um, <laughs> lots of fun, lots of fun times. Um, and I don't edit these, I don't spend so much time that it's like super professional. As you can see, it's just quick cuts and I do, you know, fades, but um, it, it definitely is, uh, it captures a couple cool moments and they get to see, brides and grooms get to see, you know, some of their friends dancing and everything. Now look at this right here. Do you see the girl in the black and white pants? That is the wedding planner. I got, we, I did, I was uh, playing a set and she got so into it that she wanted to start dancing. So um, she was the wedding planner that worked at the venue and also did the wedding planner. But anyway, we kind of ended on a couple rock songs and and then we, uh, we did our final dance of the evening. But anyway, this is it's kind of it for, for the wedding here. I, I um, just wanted to show you guys how we how we do this. I always end with, I try to get a picture with a couple and this couple was super cool and they, they absolutely love to you know get a quick photo and we got a couple actually, so there's that. And guys, I hope you enjoyed um, the, the video and maybe learned something. Thanks a lot for joining and We'll see you next time.